In this video, we show how to activate or initialize the TP-Link Viggy NVR for first-time use. Connect the power adapter, USB mouse, and display cable. Optionally, you can connect to the internet via LAN cable. Note, in this video, we only show how to activate the NVR. We have not added any cameras for configuration. In the upcoming part of the video, we will show how to add the cameras. This NVR has the OnVIF feature, allowing us to add cameras from multiple brands. Therefore, adding the cameras will be covered in another part of the video series. Power up the NVR, the light indication will appear on the front panel. Here, we configured the NVR using an HDMI or VGA port display device. Once the NVR boots up, the welcome wizard will appear on the display. On this screen, you need to choose your country and language using the mouse connected to the NVR. By clicking Next, the wizard will prompt you to set the admin user's password. Enter your preferred password in the new password and confirm password fields. Enter your email address in the password reset email field, which may help you if you forget the password. In the camera password field, you can set the password for cameras separately. This password will be assigned when the Viggy cameras are activated via this NVR. Alternatively, if you want to use the same password and email address for the cameras as the NVR, you can check the same as NVR box. Click on the complete button to finish the password setup. The next wizard may prompt you to set up gesture or pattern type login access. You can choose to set it up or skip this step. Here, we choose to set the gesture password. Draw your own gesture twice to complete this password setup. By enabling set as default login method, you can easily draw the gesture to access the admin account on the NVR. Click on the Manually Initialize option to configure the NVR according to our preferences. In this setup wizard, select the HDMI or VGA display port resolution based on the pixel clarity of your TV or monitor. If you're unsure about the best resolution choice for your device, you can keep this option as adaptive. If you have connected to the internet, the status will appear here. For better connectivity, you can keep this mode as auto. In the time checking section, Set the time zone according to your country. Then, adjust the date and time in the time settings section. We have skipped this setup for now. Adding cameras will be demonstrated in the next part of the videos. In this setup wizard, you'll need to initialize the hard disk drive. Currently, the status of the hard disk drive is uninitialized. Select the disk, then click on the initialize option to format the hard disk. After formatting, the hard disk will become normal and start recording. This is the recording schedule settings. By default, the recording is configured as continuous for the entire day. If you prefer, 
You can change the recording to motion detection based recording by selecting the option motion detection recording. Once the NVR is initialized or activated, a QR code for mobile app access will be displayed on the screen. The NVR has been successfully activated. Now you can use all the features as you wish. Adding cameras, mobile app integration, recording settings, and other configuration features will be demonstrated in another video of this series. To motivate us to create more videos like these, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps us understand your preferences better and encourages us to create more content that you find valuable. Thank you for your support.